No, it's just that you just have to run the VRPN that will automatically pick up the, 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 the signal here that will automatically pick up the signal from your steam VR. And then you're taking that, that signal here. You know what I mean? You need to make sure that this is correct. This is the binding. This is the, this is the binding is you just have to make sure that this ID matches whatever your tracker is. And then I'll show you the, the extra features. Uh, I showed you this in the beginning of this video briefly, but so this right here is what is the added controls, the benefits that I gave you before that I showed you at the beginning of this video. You're gonna wanna just make sure that these all set properly. So if you wanna change how fast the stage moves, you do this, you make sure that these all are connected to whatever they are labeled. You know what I mean? Make sure that your in camera is set. Or if you don't have one of these connected, it may not work or it may crash or do, you know what I mean? God knows what. But as long as they're connected, they should be good. And as long as your tracker has the correct ID, you should be the good. Camera, and you. The camera, so the camera tracker has to have that exact name from the VRPN input right there. Gotcha. Correct. Okay, cool. Yeah, and then and then you can switch them out. So uh, I mean, I might as well just show this off right now. It'll be the easiest. So once we get this set up, uh, I'm gonna show you how to actually do it. But who knows if I'll have my system all back? In, I won't have it back and running on the projector like this. I'm gonna have it set up for one screen. So uh, let me switch over to this. So you wanna for the best performance, you need to command uh, Alt Tab. And then, and then select your end display. And if you move the mouse, you're gonna be screwed. So when you get back to your keyboard, you don't wanna move the mouse because it's gonna get all shaky. I can show you what it does before. So now it's a lot smoother. Things are nice and smooth now. I can control. So uh, the features that I put onto this, onto this lovely controller right here is to engage it, uh, you have to press the, the grip button. And then now, your uh your your forward on the pad will brighten your in-camera frustum it is the let me make sure that this is running yes it's running uh it will brighten your in-camera frustum so you can't see it too much but it's getting a lot brighter and that's just controlling the brightness of your in-camera frustum so you can just hold on that and your you it will just go down and down and down. I like it really far down because it looks like that looks the most real to me. You know what I mean? Like you get enough where you just have the brightness and then, and then that's all you need. So then uh, this is a cool little trick. If you move it side to side, uh, it will control the, the size of the in-camera frustum. So you just slide the slider back and forth and it controls the size of the in-camera frustum. And then uh, the menu button, the small button right here, will uh, change your lenses. Right now it's a 30 millimeter, a 50 millimeter and an 85. And unless you figure out how to change it, which it's not that hard to change, uh, you're stuck with that until I release another blueprint for it or another thing. Uh, so yeah, you have those, but you know what I mean? If you're close to it, it might not be too bad. You get a 28 with the 30 millimeter. It'll probably be fairly close. Uh, I'll show you how to change some of that stuff. You could even change, I believe you should be able to change the lenses while this is running, I think, uh, with uh, multi-user, which I'll be showing you. So then uh, the last, Oh, this, the, the next feature is uh, if you hold down the trigger, so when you're holding uh, the trigger and you use your forward and backwards, it hires and lowers your aperture and you'll be able to see it on the screen. Oh, you can see it on, on my, my main screen. Yep. Uh, so yeah, so now we're going all the way up to whatever. Uh, you'll be able to, in the the blueprint and in the details panel of the, the actor, you'll be able to change the rate of that as well. And then if you hold one of the grip buttons or both of the grip buttons, uh, you can move your entire stage around. Uh, there is no rotation currently because just bad things happen. Uh, but 
this is what I got. <laughs> but this is, so if you need to like move over a couple inches or you, you know what I mean? You want to slightly change where you're at in your stage, you know, and you're like, okay, we want to go for like the medium of this guy, you know, maybe we want to, we want to move a little bit. Now, you know, we need to close up. Uh, my chair hit the mouse. You'll see what happens when the, you hit the mouse. It just messes everything up. I tried to disable that, but beyond me right now. Uh, okay, so that's 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 the uh, that's the basics of how that all works. Uh, so right here is where you you set the settings for that. So all you have to do is add this actor into this template and then tell it what default pawn. Uh, here is the rate for how fast the stage moves. Here's the rate for how fast the compensation, uh, exposure compensation goes. Where's my seltzer? Uh, and then you have to tell it where the in-camera settings are. You have uh, the, the frustum size rate, how quickly the frustum gets bigger and smaller. You have the color of the, ap the uh, aperture printout when you hold the trigger, uh, just in case your scene is dark blue. You know what I mean? And you want it to pop so that you can see where you're at or something you, or make it darker. So it's like not showing up in reflections. Uh, and then here is the IDs that you will have from your config file. You can leave them at this when we change the address. Uh, and you just put those in there and then you tell it where the warp surfaces is. Most of the time, you know what I mean? You're going to, these are, there's only going to be one option here. Uh, hopefully, unless you're doing something more complicated and or you did something wrong. Uh, 